Hey everyone. So, y'all ain't ready for this. No, you ain't ready for this. No! <laughs> uh, what does a pig say? Oink. Oink. Good, Good job. job, Rex. What does a cow say? No. Good job. What does a sheep say? Bah. <laughs> what does a dog say? Woof, woof, woof. Yeah. Which one would you like? So, Rex, I don't know when, how, why. All I know is God gets the glory, first off. Um, y'all, everyone that's been praying, your prayers are being answered right now. Um, so yesterday night, I kind of saw, a, it was as if a light switch flashed on or flipped on in Rex's brain. And today, totally amazing. He is like, he's cognitive. He's, seeing, he's saying animal noises. Like, what is the, we say, what is the, cow make or what sound does the cow make he says moo what sound does the pig make he goes oink oink and we are, we're not saying anything we're not trying to get him to uh, say any of it he's just saying it on his own because he actually knows it remembers it um but this is also very bittersweet because today before he did that i was taking him outside and he had a little bit of meltdown in the hallway because he remembers the wreck and he was very adamant and hurt by it, but he was very adamant about telling me um, because he was worried about them. And um, so today he's already said uh, before this happened, he said, grandma, and I said, grandma, and he goes, yes. And this was a couple days before today. Um, and so I didn't really say anything when he said that, but today he said, M my sister. And then he started crying and he said, wreck. And he said, grandma. And this was all within this little meltdown period and it just broke my heart. So. I picked him up. I was trying to console him. I said, hey, let's go talk about this outside. I go, we'll go outside and we'll talk about it. And he seemed to be okay with that. So I held his hand pulling the wagon. So it was pretty hard to do that. But we got outside and we cried together. And I explained that, you know, they're in heaven and they, they passed away in the wreck. And he is lucky to be alive. And God saved him for all of us. He saved him. He saved Rex and he's doing a miracle on him and he's gonna be a mighty man of God. And um, yeah, we, we cried. It, it was a really sweet, bittersweet moment. It it just hurts. How, how do you explain that? But the fact that he even remembered it, he remembered the wreck. He remembered that his sister and his grandmother were in really bad shape. And I asked him, I said, did you see any angels there? He goes, yes, which is so amazing. And I can't wait to hear more. Hopefully um, we'll, we'll be able to talk about it at a later date. But that was um, everything that he kind of experienced. Then we, um, then we went outside and throughout the day, um, Craig has been able to join me in the hospital because of the COVID uh, restrictions being lifted. So they made an exception, a little early you exception throw it? for throw, throw both it of us to be there. Oh, and um, as you can see, he oh, was oh, talking, oh, he oh, was hey. throwing the balls. Good He's job. Um, completely, almost 100% healed um, as far as mentally. Um, so he, his eyes are looking everywhere. He's, tri I mean, he's just, he, it's him, it's him, he's, he's in there. Um, so praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All of you, you are doing miracles with your faith. 
Oh my gosh. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Um, I've been listening to that song, Echo Holy. It's amazing. I just, you know, a thousand or a million angels fall down on the floor echoing holy, holy is uh, the Lord. I just listen to that and just like, yes, thank you. Holy is the Lord and God be all the glory and amen and forever and ever. And uh, amazing. So I believe that he is rehab ready and he'll, he'll be able to make a quick trip to rehab, get all this stuff done and uh, making a quick exit. So we're very excited. We are over the moon. I can't. This is God. It is all God. He is amazing. He's healed Rex. Um, with the prayers, with the prayers of the saints, you, you are the prayer. You are the saints with the prayers, and we have affected change. and We've affected a miracle. Um, and just know that I wasn't in his hospital room, just constantly praying. Um, yes, I would love to be doing that but it's constant care, it's very tiring. Um, so honestly, I'm so glad that you guys have been praying in my, it's almost like in my stead. Um, while I'm, I mean, it's, just, it's very tiring. Um, taking care of someone nonstop, making sure they don't get on their legs, making sure they have their brace on, making sure they are eating, not pulling out the nose tube, you know, all this. So it's been a constant struggle, but um, I'm just really thankful that you guys are in my corner and that you are praying and that you are calling down heaven right now on us, on other people that are losing um, loved ones. I know it's just like crazy out there right now that there's so many people that are losing their loved ones, um, their immediate family or their um, extended family. And it, it's... I don't know, I guess a really big move of God's about to happen. Um, so I'm really, kind of, I mean, I I hate to say excited, but I am excited for what God's doing. And we all know that they're in a better place. We know that they're super happy and could. there's no sadness in heaven. They're not sad. We're the sad ones, not them. So anyways, I'm rambling, but um, I just wanna speak blessings on every single person that has prayed or watched or been a part of this journey. I want to speak um, blessings. I want to speak uh, financial uh, fruition, for financial manifestation of every labor that you have done, every seed that you've sown, every labor, every everything that you have cultivated. I just ask that God uh, multiply the manifestation of the fruit um, and uh, anything that you're requesting of God right now I just ask that you I just ask that you push forward push press into him and let him encourage you and keep going don't stop don't stop even if you don't get the answer you want don't stop because God is measuring your heart he's measuring how far you're gonna go and he will show up um, so keep going be encouraged we can do this if you need prayer message me I will pray for you personally um, I'd be happy to. And yeah, so have a great night. Rex update. Yay.